Swiss. Lots of hair, K Swiss. Yeah. Damn, that, that throw was like three. It's like three times bigger than it was. That's last time ridiculous. I saw him. And that, that was, was, that was already big last time I saw him. K Swiss is when he had short hair. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, very that's a long out. time. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's 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 poofy, man. Holy, sh holy shoot. Anyway, oh, K Swiss was up. Um, Crom now. Yeah. The last time I seen him, he was playing pits though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays Crom. Uh, a good choice overall, I think. Definitely a very good character in this meta. And already hasn't been touched by Abadongo. Starting off very strongly, actually. Ooh, finally landing a back air. Not going to get punished, though. You know, that up B is actually very hard to go ahead and try to catch it from Krom. Just because, especially on the platforms, he can choose if he wants to stay on top or go through it. Right. All right, but slowly bringing back the percentages. Tech Chase? Oh, Tech Chase is away. Another potential opportunity! Oh, he, he thought he was going to go in twice right there. Yeah. Abadongo able to survive. Oh, I like that air dodge out from K-Swiss. Really, when you play Krom, you have to make sure you can go ahead and mix your recoveries very well. Yeah. And Mr. R and James have been the best ones to go ahead and really show what you can do with, you know, with Krom's recovery. Because a lot of people yeah. just revered he has terrible recovery. You're not going to make it back. But, you know, these air dodges, the way you use, the, if you snap with that Aether as well. Yeah. You, know, you can go ahead and make some things happen. But nonetheless, you have K-Swiss able to get that stock jab leading into that back air. Alright, let's throw out those down tilts, try and get the lead trap. Yes, just gonna go for that down throw. Just going in with the up airs. Man, Abadongo really having a hard time getting anything started so far. Did he spot dodge immediately too? Is that why he went past him? Because usually if you parry the roller, you he would just stop in place. I think, uh... Or is that only on shield? I think it was only shield. Mm, uh, I don't okay. think it's, uh... Yeah, okay, there we go. Finally gonna get a roller berry. Another jab. <laughs> yeah, taking full advantage of the invincibility frames that he had. Trying to go for the dancing blade as well, but not going to land as he wanted. Mm -hmm. Jab. Okay, one more time. Ah, oh, didn't get a chase on the platform. Abdango slowly trying to bring this back. <laughs> Hiding behind the spot bomb. Waiting for K-Swiz to go ahead and pick an option, but he is here at the ledge now. Been in the mix-up. No, he tried to go for that back air. A little bit too low to the ground to come out. Uh, not able to get anything. Just gets another jab. He's really looking for it. Finally able to get the jab in the back air. Same way he got the first stock. Second stock is finally going in. Yeah, it took I mean, him a while to hunt for it, though. Really? Kaysos just has a game plan, and he is sticking to it. Abadongo has the same exact game plan. Look, look. You got jab, I got roller. Yeah. <laughs> so you press a button, and then it doesn't... And it whips, then you're dead, basically. Another ether. Mm-hmm. Out of boxing situation, you're gonna get a lot of damage out of that. It does like 20 every time. Yeah, when you are a character that has the ability to up be out of shield, you are so strong in this meta, especially the way that shields are just nerfed in this game. Yeah. Because you can act on so much faster than really anyone else. Mm -hmm. Case was looking like he's trying to take the first game from Amadongo here. Looking really nice so far. I nice start at the ledge. Wow. Yeah, the wind box on the splatter shot. Send them far back enough where they hit enough time to recover. Also getting a quite a bit of percent, and there's enough ink on him that the damage multiplier is going to apply. Yeah, now just got to be careful because Abadango slowly bringing this back, but he just needs like one good forward tilt, one good up smash, forward smash, he just like needs anything. A <laughs> yeah, <laughs> another jab to the back air like last time. Just got to be careful. If he presses a button too early, up throw. Oh, the up air not going to land. Running back and forth with the F tilt. Is going to catch up with Double K-Swiss getting the first game. Yeah, very nice stuff from K-Swiss. Like, doing really nice stuff so far. Yeah, so call erupting just a little bit. You see their boy getting the game. I like Let's it. Let's go, K-Swiss! All right, Sedge showing full bias right there. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you're definitely anything. on camera. No, yeah, that was someone else. That's oh, you're right, you're right. That's not The me. best part is you're actually on K-Swiss's side. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, but right, anyway, Abadongo, oh, shout, out, shout out to the Yoshi right over there, mm -hmm. just chilling on the chair. <laughs> He's sticking uh, with the Inkling? I think so, actually. Did he? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Okay. You know, with the Inkling. I don't think he was doing bad. He just got caught in a lot of those situations and just really just couldn't recover. Okay, that, yeah. <laughs> the immediate punish. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't get hit by it, then it's pretty easy to punish because you can just catch them while they're landing. Alrighty, already got him at the ledge. What's the setup gonna be? 
Okay, just intercepts that roller with an aerial. Nice stuff so far. Yeah, spot bomb trying to interrupt Case Wiz's approach. It finally does on the second. Using a third one at that too. Abadongo just trying to put any type of hitbox right in front of Case Wiz so he doesn't really just feel comfortable to really just freely move in the neutral. Mm -hmm. Oh, used up his double jump. That's potentially bad, but he air dodges just in the nick of time. Yeah, another back air. A little oh. bit too much lag going for that directional air dodge. Yeah, Bondongo looking so much cleaner as he did. He came one double up air, 31%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is really the name of the game that Abadongo needs to do. He just needs to get a couple of those hits, then run away. Allow Case was to kind of just overextend himself, then punish from there. Yeah, um, I think that in general, Inkling is much less committal than a Promise. They both share the similar speeds, but that's where Inkling is going to edge out most of the time. On the flip side, Krom does have the range to beat out a lot of different options that Inkling possesses. So we'll just have to see how this goes down between the two of them. A lot of it's going to just have to go down to the decision making between these two. Yep, another Aether coming out of Shield immediately. Actually, coming out of Spot Dogs that time around. Back air? No, not going to uh, be so enough. Yeah, so not enough to do it. No edge guards this time around. Got another potential ledge trap. Respects the spire shot distance this time. Forward tilt? Yeah. A little bit too far from that ledge to get the stock, but the last one is going to catch him. Yeah, there we go. Case was doing an amazing job at the ledge so far, but here we go. Trying to find his way back in. Oh, he waited out for the spot dodge this time around. Up throw, up air. Goodbye. Yep, got the perfect percent on that. Closes that out there. Oh, they didn't keep up with the jabs, no. Just opting to go for that down tilt immediately, just running away. Neutral air poking Case with out of his shield. I love this from Abadongo. He he's actually just allowing Case with to hit a down tilt, hit a button immediately, and just punish him right up top. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep, neutral air to fair. Just a little bit of extra damage tacked on. Yeah, spot bomb forcing Case was to recover high Abadongo, not ready for the hitbox landing down. But he's still in a great position to make it happen. That was a re-grab, but Case was unable to get the timing to get the full punish that he yeah. wanted. Oh, that's death. Yep. Okay, Abadango much better that time around. Really just, uh, okay, the third stock, got a really good edge guard. And then the other two times, he was just denying what Krom wanted to get. And uh, just uses that speed and patience to really force Case was to press the button first. Stuffed out his approaches. Very good stuff all around. Mm -hmm. Great adaptation from Abdongo. Alright, you're going into game three right now. I'm assuming we're still going to see the same exact characters, and that is exactly what is happening. I mean, Casos wasn't doing bad at all. Just Abadongo making his adjustments, understanding where he needed to punish Casewiz. Yeah. You know, Casewiz needs to make the adjustments himself to really stop getting as whip with punish as he was beforehand. Yeah. Close quarter combat between these two. Really trying to find a grab, but there we go. Gets one jab. Nothing too committal from either of these players. There's a lot more space for both of these players, actually, to roam around. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this stage takes into play. Yeah, and both of them can live a lot later at that, too. Town and City being one of the biggest stages in Smash Ultimate at that. Yeah. Wow. The disjoint of Chrome's up are actually exploding the splat bomb. Fortunately yeah. enough, he didn't really get hit by the but a big explosion portion of it. Yeah. So he didn't take too much ink damage, but nonetheless, he's going to get grabbed by that. W wait! Did he forward air? Or what was I that? Because it exploded in front of him, but it didn't hit Case I think that was forward air, but yeah. I could be wrong. That was actually kind of weird. So my palm interaction in this game are very interesting, I'll tell you that much. Oh, the parry comes in, yeah. You got to be careful as a sword character. Sometimes your timing on aerials gets a little bit too predictable. And that's it! Wow! Another stock taken away with the Booyah. Yeah, Abadongo knowing his percents, exactly when he can catch his opponents. Case was doing a little bit too, one too many options that are just unsafe on the shield. Abadongo immediately punishing him. Not quite going to get that back air. Still got the control at the ledge here. Oh, a little bit too close to the ground. He wanted a forward air. Yep. Oh, he got the parry too, but gets that back air. He's still safe. Hasn't taken on any damage so far. Well, he got the parry, but unfortunately, Abadongo going for that dash attack and dash attack, possessing the ability to cross up on shield. Mm -hmm. And forcing the air dodge, not going to get a grab, just running away after that neutral air. Oh, I think he, I think he was trying to go for the spot bomb again and hold up. Yeah. And the back air not going to land. A little bit too far to catch it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get anything. Yeah, sometimes 
Yeah, Crom can kill really early, but sometimes it's a matter of just finding the right hit for that. Because even though the sword's consistent, sometimes it's just hard to really land a kill. Sometimes they just barely survive for a long time. Definitely. I mean, really, the key thing for Case was I would love to see him mix it up just a tiny bit. When he's landing down, he's immediately going for that back air, immediately going for some type of aerial to space out uh, with that dish that he possesses. But a lot of times, Abadong is expecting that. He's either whip punishing it or he shoot he's getting close enough to him to shoot it and be able to get that grab. But if Case was starts going for a couple more tomahawks, maybe just mixing up with an air dodge instead, well, he might be in a better position. But hey, none it doesn't even matter. Don't don't listen to my advice. You are doing fine, Case Wiz. Yeah. You evened up this set. You <laughs> might get this stock. <laughs> yeah, he's really looking for it. Oh, but the back air comes in. Try to find some kind of reaction, but not quite. All of a sudden, it's a very close game between these two. Gets another back air. Puts him off stage in good position here. Another forward tilt. Oh, we went for the jab instead. Back air, not quite going to get it. Back throw. Oh, oh he doesn't get punished for And he's going to punish himself. The last stock situation for Abadango in the winner's <laughs> wow, what bracket. Turn around there for Case was on the verge of eliminating Abadango. Yeah, from winners, at least. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like K-Swiss is always just there when it comes to being able to pull off these crazy upsets. This would be great for him, but a jab block comes in. Gonna get that up smash. Barely killing right there. Yeah, Abodongo sitting at 38% now. This is just one conversion to even it up. I like that K-Swiss opting to go onto that platform, but he's getting a lot of percent. Only 2% separating both these players now. Yeah, just uh, dropping shield, trying to see if he can find a parry or something. Oh, but another jab block. That's really big. And a down smash will send him off stage! Oh man, that was so close! Oh, he's gotta be careful! Here. Oh, luckily he fell off of the platform. That would have been a dangerous spot if he didn't. Yeah, otherwise he wouldn't have his jump. Would have been bad. Oh, there's an aerial! Oh! <laughs> oh Catch the air the Another one? No, I'm gonna go landing down with that forward air! Doesn't get the roller at that time. He had a tech chase opportunity, but just does not take it. Oh, beautiful shield, but down tilting in the wrong direction. Dancing blade? No, not gonna lead into much else. And going for an up tilt there. Very interesting jab. Back air. Oh my oh, god! Oh, it almost looked like he was about to get it, but he's got Abadongo the trying to land it, but finally does gets the grab. Up throw! Back air comes in, and Kesos cannot get it. Abadongo barely gets the win there. And that was, that was, that was really, really awkward at the end. Oh man, <laughs> SoCal was really in it for it. Both of them could not decide if they wanted a handshake or fist bump, but nonetheless. Fantastic set from both of these players going down to the wire, and Abadongo able to.